When I saw them tailing, I knew all I had to do was get here early in the morning and this would be the result. There you go, that quiets things down a little bit. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're fishing at my favorite marsh system on Galveston Island. For those of you not familiar with the channel and you're new, welcome to MDLR Fishing. Galveston is on the Upper Texas Gulf Coast and uh, this is a great, phenomenal marsh system. We have a slight chance of rain in the forecast, but great conditions otherwise. I'm about to put the hat on that I'm filming from right now, and we're going to get started. i tell you what, we've got a fully loaded kayak today. Brought out the fly rod because of the low winds. I don't know if we'll pull that out. I guess if the bite turns really good, then we will. We're going to start things out with the Old 18 Kinetic. This is a light-powered rod, 7 foot long. Uh, it's going to be new in the lineup. Right now we're just testing it, seeing how we like it. And there's a lot to be said about it, that's for sure. Maybe later on we'll do a standalone video just explaining everything about it. it. But there's really not much to do. No bells and whistles for this one. We just want it to keep it simple. Uh, by doing that, it's really lightweight. And we went with EVA foam. EVA foam on the butt plus a little bit of cork. It's a split grip. You got the blank is showing through so that your hand can keep constant contact with the rod itself. So that's the ultimate in sensitivity. It is a really great rod, super lightweight. I like it. I like what it has to offer. For those of y'all that are local, in case you're wondering where I'm at, if you go down into my video description, there's a link that goes to Patreon. Right there is where you're gonna find all the answers to the questions that you have pertaining to the areas that I fish. Um, there will be a fishing report later on and it'll detail everything about this trip, all the stuff that I'm seeing out here. You're going to be able to find that there, so that'll save you the headache of trying to figure out, like, hey, where are you fishing? I don't really try to hide it. I don't hide anything in the background. I don't intentionally try not to show specific things. If you know, you know, but if you don't and you want to, Patreon, that's where it's at. Yeah, that first spot, even though there were reds there, I just I could never catch up to them, and... I don't want to run out of my early morning bite, so we're going to hurry up and make our way into that back lake, give it a good look over and see if it would produce anything. Hopefully this is what they're going to want. I just ran aground. Very shallow. Very, very shallow. Pop that motor up and it is time to just push pull. If we don't see anything, then we're really going to just go right back out into the bayou where we were at least seeing some blow-ups. Boy, oh boy, I hope there's going to be something out here. Yeah, we should have already seen something by now. There's no shortage of mullet back here. Yeah, there's nothing out here. Just a bunch of mullet having a good old time. We made it. I am about to raise my motor because the depth is steadily getting shallower. Cut the motor, raise it up just a little bit. That should be good right there. Hopefully that's gonna be good enough and that the water is gonna be just a little bit deep enough to be able to cruise along with the motor. If we have to start push pulling, so be it. But we made it. 
It is scorching hot out here and it's only nine in the morning. Oh yes, tailing red right over there. I cannot believe this. Darn near midday as far as the positioning of the sun is concerned. And we're seeing a redfish tail. He's, his head is in the grass. Oh, that is a big boy too. There's two of them. Let's take our time. I do not want to mess this up. All right, let me sit down because I don't want to spook all the bait. quite a few of them back here. There's that one. I think there might be one right there. I really don't want to run over a redfish. Oh, there. No, that's a stingray. <laughs> that's the wrong thing to cast at. All right. getting way too close. That's a big keeper though. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that's why you need the uh, the weedless. I'm gonna have to keep it in motion. All right, there's my keeper right there coming straight at me. No. Okay, I'm gonna put it right in front of his face. Whew, my gosh, I cannot stop grabbing grass. It's not gonna work. I don't see where he went. That is not good. I cannot see him. They are not here anymore. Yeah, well I messed that opportunity up big time. All right, here we go, right there in front. I spooked him. That's what happens whenever you cast behind them and then you reel it in. He hasn't seen me yet. Yeah, he spooked. I think he saw me. Yeah, that dude's gone. Off to the races. I had no choice though because this is what's happening. If I let my lure go down, then I'm snagging all of that grass. 
I need something that kind of floats, but then also swims. That's also super lightweight so that it doesn't make a big old splash and spook them on the cast. It's gonna take me a little while to get set up, but I think it's what I need to do. Hello, old friend. Where's your buddy at? Where's the other piece? Here we are. All right, y'all, this is gonna take a quick minute, but this is what I should have pulled out in the first place. Rather than taking a chance on spooking that redfish, I should have pulled this out immediately. It's been forever since I've cast this. Okay, we got set up. Just gotta get a floating, which is this fella right here. If I am able to catch something on this today, holy cow. It being like years since I've even attempted to cast the fly, is uh, that's gonna be an accomplishment for me. Oh man, this is gonna be so hard. I got so many snags on my kayak. Look at that, I'm already snagged. Okay, here we go. Look at that, there's a red right there. All right, I have zero feel, and I just wrapped my, my fly. No, buddy. Here we go. There we are. No, what the hell? Oh my gosh. This is going to be the comedic hour. There's that tail still over there, but I saw that other felt. There he is right there. Snagged. That was a lot of work just to get 10, 15 yards away from the kayak. Oh, how did I spook that guy? What did I do wrong? I think I'm pushing too much of a wake. Yeah. Completely spooked that guy because of my wake. The tails are no longer up. I think I've already spooked every darn red that's out here trying to cast this fly. Too much movement, pushing a wake out on these guys because I got to get absurdly close in order to make sure that my fly gets right on top of them. <sighs> All right, I'm done with the fly. There's no more tails for me to target and cast at. And then we've got rain coming down. Maybe tomorrow we'll give it a shot. Not the fly, we'll come back out here and give it a shot. I got a lot more practicing to do. Maybe we'll pull the fly out later on, but if it stands right now, um, yeah. All I did was spook everything. It's no different than what I was doing earlier with conventional lures, but I've got to regroup, figure something out on how to present them a lure. All right, paddle tail. You're the next best thing that I got to weedless, so. Look at that rain, holy moly. 
All right, we got to put the we got to put this away. The hat. Um, that rain is coming down hard, y'all. We're about to get it big time. We got to put one of these hats away. I'd like to get both of them put away, but I don't know. Thank you, Weather App, for getting it wrong. Get this inside there. There we go. All right. I gotta put you guys away. It is coming down pretty hard right over there. Yeah, what a bummer. We got that rain cloud passed. Got him. Boy, he saw it and just came right over. I'm not even giving them a chance. Oh, it's a little fella, but I don't want to give him a chance on spooking everybody else. I don't know. He may keep 19, 20, somewhere around there. 18, 19. So, look at that color and that tail. Nice juvenile. Whew, man. All right, buddy. We'll see you later. Okay, well, maybe he doesn't like being the graceful type. Either way, that's a catch. Oh my gosh, I didn't think we were going to make it happen today. First bite of the day, right on the grass line. Dude, get out from under there. Come on, dude. Oh my gosh. There, keeper redfish number one. So happy that I came out here yesterday and made the long trek. Because when I saw them tailing, I knew all I had to do was get here early in the morning and this would be the result. Oh, look at this gorgeous redfish. I got two lures that I'm trying out today. And, well, number one is proving to be worthy. I never knew how to fish these paddle tails, and I'll show you all in a quick second. Let's get this guy out of here. There we go. All right. Lure number one. I think it's called a Shadalicious. Or Shadlicious or something like that but it's a hollow body paddle tail and it's got a very weak 
little nose. And so I'm using a swim hook. Nope. I'm trying to re-rig it and then I'll let y'all know. I'll continue talking about it. But very hollow body, very weak nose. The plastic is it it rips pretty quick and I was like, how can I fish that? And so I just basically put it in like that. You fish it like a tube in the bass world if you're a bass fisherman. For my saltwater anglers, you just stick it in through one piece of the plastic and that's it. Swim it like that because we have tons of grass. Y'all saw that little bit that I pulled off. All that grass gums up your lure. And yeah, it makes it very tough, but whew, first catch of the day. I've been waiting a split second to set that hook because I've been bumping a lot of mullet and I've been trying to set the hook immediately. Buddy, hold on, hold on, chill out. There we go. Oh, look at that double spotter right there. Yeah, I don't want to waste these paddle tails on mullet. And when you tail bump them, that little thump will definitely trick you. Gorgeous redfish right there. Let's get a quick photo for Instagram. let this guy go. <laughs> I love whenever they do that. They just freak themselves out. Here we go. Yeah, so uh, the mullet, it feels like a thump that the redfish give, but minus the immediate tension right afterwards. So you got to hold off that trigger for a quick split second yeah I'm not seeing any more tails whatsoever and I think I'm gonna just push out of here it is really spicy back here all right one more cast on this grass line and we're gonna start heading back to the launch we'll fish that water break oh man nine o'clock and it is scorching hot out here already. I think we're gonna wrap things up. The birds don't appreciate me being right here and I don't wanna get pooped on, so let's put this away. And we're gonna end this one today, y'all. Um, a little bit more productive than it was yesterday. We caught significantly more fish. <laughs> we caught two of them today. Really thought it was gonna happen with uh, catching one right off the bat. But uh, yeah, we'll come back out again another day and see how we're going to do. I thank you so much for watching. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.